Hello, it's Mike again, and welcome back to My Westies TV. It's hard to believe JC's puppies are seven weeks old already. Let's see how they're doing. They go home next week. Let's go check on them. It is hard to believe. Seven weeks have gone by so quick. So if you haven't done it already, now's the time to puppy proof your home. These little guys are very curious. And they will virtually destroy anything they think is a toy. They've been known to, to swallow 9 volt batteries, disposable razors, air conditioning cords, uh, bubbler sprinkler heads, uh, anything to the tune of uh, hundreds of dollars in veterinary bills. They'll get into the electrical cords, any poisonous plants that might be around the house, antifreeze, cosmetics, cleaning supplies, and uh, these things could be extremely uh, hazardous to your Westy puppy, but they are uh, very attractive to him. They're very attracted to these things, again, because they're so curious. We want to uh, never burn any candles where your puppy can jump up and knock them over. Uh, we want to keep our cellar doors closed. We want to keep our windows closed if you don't have a screen. Springtime is going to be here before you know it. And uh, we'll want to have the windows open. Make sure that screen is closed or that Westie will be gone. We want to keep our trash inaccessible to the Westies. Uh, the puppies, they'll get into that uh, very easily. Hmm. Another thing that's concerned, seeing how spring times are spring times coming, a lot of people are fertilizing their yards, spraying pesticides, weed killers, and things like that. We want to try to avoid using these things. Uh, again, insecticides, pesticides, chemical fertilizers. It's better to avoid these things altogether because they will make your Westie sick. Some things we don't think about. I'd rather have a healthy Westie with a few dandelions in my yard and a few dandelions and my Westie not there anymore. We want to keep uh, anything we like to read. Westies don't like to read, but man, can they devour those books. They love to chew on those covers, rip up the pages. It's just a great toy for them to play with. So if there's a book, a special book you like to read, you like to have laying around, you want to keep that out of the Westies uh, line of sight or he'll get into them. One thing to keep Westies away from objects that you don't want them to chew on or go near is a product called Bitter Apple. And you can spray that on electrical cords, you can spray that on anything that you don't want your Westie to chew on. Another important thing to think about is if you have a backyard where the Westie's going to play, is it fenced in? Westies are escape artists. You'll see them here. They'll try to look for areas in that exercise pen where they can they can get out so they will do the same in your yard but he's headed to the they want to play with other dogs they want to play with must be that any time. squirrel they want to chase squirrels the time huh? everybody's and, uh, on the paper huh? just having to head to the paper it's good to have a, a secure fence a secure chain link fence if possible and uh, they'll want to burrow underneath it so you want to make sure that uh, there's no holes where they can try to burrow underneath because they will do that. They like to dig yeah. and they like to uh, like try to get out. Yeah, I'm They're very that, huh? intelligent animals. Invisible fences aren't really fit for a Westie. They'll be willing to accept the shock in order to chase uh -huh. a rodent. And uh, they really don't keep your dog in the yard. And then he won't be wanting to come back into the yard to get shocked again. So. For a weakness uh, in the fence. Invisible fences really are not uh, for a Westie. So that's really something to think about. When you get them a collar, also, you want to make sure that collar uh, has its tags on it. Because if they do get out of your yard, even though he's going to have a microchip put in, you're gonna, they want to be able to identify that puppy no matter where he goes. Again, thanks again for getting a Westie from us. And uh, please subscribe and like. It makes it easier. The more subscribers and the more likes each video gets, the easier it is for other people to find the video uh, in the search. So I really appreciate it if you could subscribe and like. If you want to keep up with us, hit the notifications bell. 
and you can keep up with these letters and also the other ones in the sense that are coming down the road. If you're introducing your Westie to another pet, it's best to do it on neutral ground. If you can take them to a park and introduce them to each other or outside uh, on, in a neutral territory, that's, that's excellent. And don't be surprised if you have another a dog at home and his house training regresses a little bit while the new puppy's getting uh, introduced to the new environment. That's common. Don't scold your current pet because uh, it just makes it the, the two not like each other. Just try to ignore his behavior while, while he gets used to the new puppy coming into the home and then the transition will be a lot smoother for you and for the other pets in the house. They are, Westies adjust easily. They are a little nervous their first, their first day there. They're away from their litter mates. They're away from their mom. So they do tend to be a little nervous. It is a little scary. So when you introduce them to a new pet, it may not care for having a new visitor. We, uh, we want to be cautious, so, but they'll adjust. We just have to take the time and be patient. Again, thank you. Have a great weekend.